In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this elegant glass text effect in CapCut PC. So let's go. If you haven't installed CapCut on your PC yet, the video in the top right corner will guide you step by step on how to download and install it for free. In this tutorial, we'll go step by step from importing footage to adding text, layering effects, using chroma key and blending modes, all beginner friendly. First, we launch CapCut on PC and import the video right away. By the way, the video, audio, and image files used in this tutorial will all be shared in the Discord server linked in the description. Join the Discord and get the footages for free. After importing the video, we check the imported clip in the preview player on the right. Press the spacebar or click the play button to preview the video. Then click the blue plus icon on the media clip to add it to the timeline for editing. We can see that the clip is 40 seconds long, but we only need about 10 seconds. So we move the playhead to the 10 second mark and press the W key or click the cut tool on the toolbar to trim off everything after 10 seconds. Then we adjust the video to fit the timeline. Press Command and Z on Mac or Control and Z on Windows. Next, we select the video clip. Duplicate the video layer. On Mac, Press Command and C to copy and Command and V to paste. On Windows, press Control and C and then Control and V. But keep this in mind. Make sure the playhead is at the start when you paste the duplicate. The playhead defines where the copied video starts. If the playhead is elsewhere, the copied video will not align with the original. So keep the playhead at the beginning to align the copied video perfectly. Next, go to the top right corner and click Text. Create a new text layer. Here, I change the default text to America. Then match the text layer's length to the video layer. Hover the mouse to the end of the text layer. You'll see a bracket icon appear. Then drag to extend the text layer to match the video's full length. Now let's style the text. Select the text layer. On the right side under Text Basic, you can adjust the font size, typeface, and more. We'll change the font to Mortar Regular. Then scroll down and find the Shadow section. Enable the Shadow option to edit the shadow settings. Set the shadow blur to zero. Set the distance to two. Then tweak the text size and position as needed. Once done, go back to the timeline. Duplicate the text layer twice. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning when copying. Select the topmost text layer. Press V to hide the top layer. This helps avoid distraction while editing other layers. Now select the middle text layer. Change its color to black. Scroll down to the shadow settings. Change the shadow color to white. Scroll further and find the shadow angle setting. Set the angle to 150 degrees. All right, for the middle text layer, press V again to hide it. Then select the bottom text layer. Here's something important. Change the text color to something not found in the video. This makes it easier for us to chroma key it out later. Here, I'm changing the text to pink. Then select both the pink text and the video layer beneath it. On Mac, hold Command and click both layers. On Windows, hold Control and click both layers. After selecting both, right-click and choose Create Compound Clip. Now the two layers are merged into one. Select the compound clip, go to the top right, under Video, remove background. Choose Chroma Key. Click the Color Picker tool, then select the pink text color in the video preview. You'll see the text turn transparent but there may still be some pink edges. No worries, increase the intensity level until the pink is completely removed. Let's go back to the top text layer. Press V to make it visible. Right click on it and create another compound clip. Now do the same for the middle text layer. Press V to unhide it again. Right click again and create another compound clip. Then select the topmost layer. 
Go to the top right, Video Basic. Scroll down to Blend Mode. Switch the Blend Mode to Multiply. Then select the next layer. Go to Videos Basic again. Scroll to Blend as well. And switch this one to Screen Mode. Then return to the bottom video layer. Select this video. Choose Mirror in the middle toolbar. Now you can see the glass text effect is applied to the video. It's amazing. Go back to the audio section. Pick a song from the music library. And drag it onto the timeline. Now the music is longer than the video. Here's a neat trick. Place the playhead at the end of the video. Select the audio clip. Press W to trim off everything after the playhead. It works like delete right in the toolbar. Then adjust the fade in and fade out for a more natural audio flow. Okay, have you learned this effect now? With all this video, you have learned how to import footage, add text, layer effects, use chroma key, and blend modes. Don't forget to join our Discord to get the footage and practice yourself. And next video I will show you how to make this on CapCut PC. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more CapCut tutorial. See you in the next video.